Uh, hi, AP Seminar students, and welcome in uh, to my video lesson for today. Uh, today's video lesson is going to teach you how to download a copy of your papers, how to do a final check uh, over the APA stuff to ensure that you're submitting the right way, and then it's going to teach you how to do plagiarism check on College Board's digital portfolio, uh, and then finally do a final submission of your two research papers from the year. Now, this is essential that you guys submit these things before May 2nd, May 2nd at 9.59 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, as this is the last time that they, uh, they will accept submissions for this project. So please follow along with me as you watch the video. And as soon as you are ready to go, press final submit at the end, and you are done with submitting your performance tasks. So I'm going to walk you through step by step here, um, and these steps are going to apply for AP Research Papers, AP Seminar IRR, and AP Seminar IWA. So our first step here is going to be to log into College Board's digital portfolio. Um, I checked on these last week or two weeks ago, everyone should be able to access their College Board digital portfolio. You simply go to College Board's website, go to their AP Central page. And then down here where you see go to digital portfolio, you will go ahead and click into uh, that for me. It'll show your class period and something that looks similar to this here. And there are two spots in particular that you are looking for for turning in your papers. Now, the very first paper, the individual research report, your team research project, you will first click team project and presentation, and then you click IRR. And when you click into that, you guys will have something on your page that looks like this. You'll have an upload new option. So that is for the IRR. For your IWA, the paper that we are currently writing, your individual written argument, you click down here to where it says individual research based essay and presentation. And then there's the individual written argument. And again, you will have that option to click upload new. Now, before you upload, College Board requires that you remove all personal identifying information from your paper. They also require that you download your paper as a PDF, which I'll show you how to do here in a minute. And then lastly, run your paper through a plagiarism check, which I will show you how to do here in just a second. So if you want to pause the video, open up both your IWA and your IRRs and be ready to follow along with those steps with me now. Okay, so once you have both of your papers pulled up here, you wanna do a quick review to ensure that you have no personal identifying information on the cover page of the paper. So your name should not be here. You should just have the title of your paper and your updated word count. As a reminder, the word count goal for the IRR is 1200 words and for the IWA, it's around 2,000 words. So that is your goal is uh, somewhere close to that range. A couple hundred over or a couple hundred under is okay, but your goal is 1,200 for the IRR, 2,000 for the IWA. Now, as you skim through your document, you wanna make sure everything is formatted the right way. Double spaced, Times New Roman font, 12 point font. You also want to uh, ensure that you have your works cited page or your references page here at the very end, and that is in alphabetical order. So it looks like this document is all ready to go. All personal identifying information has been removed. The first step here is going to be to hit file, download, and then download your document as a PDF. You can save that right to your drive, or you can drag it to your wallpaper if that is easier. Once you have downloaded your IRR and IWA, as PDFs. The second thing I would ensure is that they are labeled correctly. So you want to make sure your IRR is labeled IRR and then your name or topic. And the IWA is also labeled because you don't want to upload the wrong document to the wrong place on College Board's website. So please go ahead, pause my video and download both of your papers whenever you are ready as PDFs and be prepared to upload those to the digital portfolio. Whenever you are ready to upload to the digital portfolio, uh, you simply hover over the correct spot. So if it is the IRR, 
Again, that's under team project and presentation. You click IRR and then down here on your page, you should have this upload new button. You then select the correct document, the IRR, and you upload new. You would do the same with your AP research paper if you're an AP research student watching this, or if you're doing the IWA, again, the location for the IWA is the individual uh, written argument located right here. You'll see that upload new option. Now, once you have uploaded a new document, you will see other buttons start to appear here. There is an upload new, if you would need to upload a newer one, you can download your document if you would need to for some reason. You can run the, uh, uh, you can view the rubric or you can run the originality check. Our next step is going to be for both of our papers to run the originality check. So you click run originality. Once you select run originality, you will then kind of get a list. Uh, if you hit view originality, you'll get a list of your documents and it kind of looks something like this and once you get to this page you go ahead and click into uh, whatever document you've run that originality check on now the originality check is through turnitin.com and if you click over here where that second number is it'll actually tell you um, what parts of your paper have been taken from existing papers that have been submitted in the past now it is okay if you have a matching percentage here it's okay if you have a matching percentage because this is a research paper, but really what we need to double check and triple check and ensure that we're doing is any multiple sentence highlights here throughout our paper. We just need to make sure that they have been cited correctly so that you have done credibility lead-ins and that you have in-text citations. So as we scroll through this, you can see that, okay, this has been cited, so that's okay. It's all right, it's highlighted because it's been cited. This also has been cited. This has also been cited. So it's just checking every single highlight that you see throughout the paper and ensuring that it is cited, especially the multi-sentence ones. If it's just a random phrase here and there that's similar, like children with, you can ignore that. Uh, it's more the multiple sentences or clearly this has been taken word from word from a document that we just need to go back and ensure that we have cited. So take the time, pause this video now, skim through your papers after you have run the plagiarism check and ensure that everything has been cited. If for whatever reason you see a highlight and it is unsighted, you simply go back to the original version of your paper, go to that spot and make sure you update the citation. You then can rewatch this video and file, download your document again. You will have to re-upload your new documents to College Board's digital portfolio. You'd want to save it as something slightly different than the first upload. So it could be IRR, your last name, version two. Again, double check that, upload new. You can run an originality report a second time if you would like, but if you have made all those corrections, then you should be ready to go. So once you've ensured everything is cited, your last step here uh, to being finished with your submissions is to go ahead and click the submit final button once you've ensured that everything has been cited correctly. When you hit submit final, you might get a couple pop-ups that say, yes, this is my work. You're checking and approving that um, and indicating that College Board will give you a zero if you plagiarize and all of that good stuff. But whenever you are ready, you wanna click submit final. You will know that you are done with your AP submissions when you see a page that has your name here in the overview section, and it has a check mark next to both of your papers. If it has an orange draft in symbol, that means that you have not finally submitted. You just need to run through that plagiarism check and submit final to ensure that it is finally submitted. But once you see two check marks here, one for your IRR and one for your IWA, you are all finished up with your performance tasks for AP Seminar. Uh, congratulations to you for all of your hard work this year and for getting your things turned into College Board's digital portfolio. Uh, if you have any issues or have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I can support I'll also run through this in case of emergency situations on Monday of uh, next week, which is the last day to submit, May 2nd at 9.59.
p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Guys, thank you for all of your hard work this year uh, and for really grinding through these multiple projects. I know it wasn't easy, but it was definitely worth it. And reach out if you have any questions at all.